Good evening and welcome to the 20th annual Read to Be 6th grade spelling bee. I am Jolene Rednati, Executive Director of Read to Succeed and I am honored to be here tonight with you all and these wonderful spellers. I want to thank the Washington Theater and Patterson Park staff for allowing us to be here tonight. I want to also mention that Murfreesboro City TV Cable Channel 3 is recording live and the B will be replayed throughout the next few months. It is also streaming on City TV's website and the Facebook pages of, of Murphy, the City of Murfreesboro. We'll also be on Read to Succeed's Facebook page. I want to thank the City of Murfreesboro and City TV, the whole crew, for helping us out today. Thank you to our wonderful sponsors, Redstone Federal Credit Union, who is making tonight possible. And just so you all know, spellers and parents, the winner of tonight's B will take home a check for $150. I almost said thousand. Whew, that had been bad. <laughs> Nonprofit, it can't happen, folks. $150. Second place is a check for $100. And third place is a check for $50. So you are being rewarded no matter what because you're all winners, but then there's a little extra something so you can go buy books because, you know, that's how you learn to spell, right? I would like to recognize any teachers, principals, and school administrators that are here tonight. We appreciate all you do for our children and our community and helping them learn and grow and build that strong foundation. Yes. And, and then I'd like to thank all the parents and guardians that got their children here tonight and support them and give them everything they need to be successful. So thank you, parents and guardians. And then these wonderful spellers and the alternates that may have cho came, we appreciate you coming in case your speller couldn't make it. Um, but tonight you all are all winners. Not only is it a great accomplishment to be here, but you won in your schools. And then besides that, you're learning at a rapid rate if you can spell better than most adults that are sitting here. So give yourself a round of applause. We're glad you're here. And tonight, we couldn't do this because I can't judge and do it all. We have a wonderful pronouncer, uh, multimedia journalist Michael Lynn White. She was also a former Celebrity Beast winner. So there's Michael Lynn. She'll be up here in a moment. And our wonderful judges, lead judge Meredith Thomas with Parks Realty. And she was also a Celebrity Bee winner. Francella Salas, Community Relations Coordinator with Redstone Federal Credit Union. And Matthew Joseph, co-owner of Simply Pure Sweets and a former Celebrity Bee winner. So thank you to our pronouncer and our judges for giving of your time tonight. We appreciate the support for literacy and of our children in the community. Now I'm going to turn it over to our beautiful pronouncer, Michael Lynn White. Have fun and spell your hearts out. Thank you all. Okay, everybody, are we excited to be here? I'm excited to be here. Again, I'm Michael Lynn White, and welcome to this, this 20th Spelling Bee for Read to Be. So this is very exciting. So y'all will be part of a milestone for Read to Be. And as Jolene said, I'm a former Celebrity Spelling Bee winner, and I used to do Spelling Bees when I was your age. So spelling I love spelling. I don't know. So you'll be doing it forever. Maybe one of you will be in our celebrity be one when you're older. So let me get myself together here and then we will get started. Okay. So our lead judge, Meredith Thomas, Meredith is going to read the B rules for us. Spelling may act as an answer to say the word again, provided that it may be made to order, provided the word is B, language is ordered, or an alternate appears 
signs and writing himself correctly. A bell will sound to indicate a correct spelling. An incorrect spelling will be corrected by the judges and the spell will make a mistake. If there is a rule based dispute, it must be submitted to the judges prior to the beginning of the next round. Judges will consider the argument and make the final decision. Uh, and I'll go, let's see, uh, audience members may not assist the speller in any manner. Um, just silence on cell phones. Uh, we encourage the French from clapping after correctly spelled words. Feel free to clap if the speller is moving the stage. Um, and so, like, like Joey said earlier, the big winners, second and third place this year are asked to remain on the stage at the end of the event for award presentations and pictures. Um, we appreciate everyone participating and we're all winners in our book. So congratulations to everybody and um, love to Yes, yes, all the applause. Thank you, Meredith. Okay, so we're gonna go over a few um, quick housekeeping rules. Again, silence the cell phones because we don't want our spellers to be distracted. And just a reminder to our spellers, the B winner, second and third place, make sure you stay close by and remain on the stage because we're gonna do our awards and pictures after the ceremony. So um, now we talked about this before, we would like to invite each speller, starting with the first seat number one, to come up and introduce yourself and say your name and your school so we can get to know you and to get familiar with their microphone. So we'll start out with number one. Hi, my name, hi, my name is Caden and I come from Black, Black Fox. So whoever is number two. My name is Giselle and I'm here representing Bradley Academy. My name is Alex Freeman and I'm from Whitworth Buchanan Middle School. My name is Adam Sayavong, and I go to Case and Lane Academy. My name is Hadley Legg, and I go to Central Magnet School. My name is Caden Scocker, and I go to Discovery. My name is Javaya Elgin, and I'm representing Mitchell Nelson Elementary. My name is Kaysen Haley, and I go to Northfield Elementary School. My name is Edgerell Smith, and I go to Overall Creek. My name is Ben Eves, and I go to Rockville Middle School. My name is Emery Larry, and I go to Smyrna Middle School. You and Mason, I go to John Pinnett Elementary School. Okay, well, you all sound great. Are you all ready to get the spelling started? Yes, I love it. Thumbs up from everyone. Okay, if there are no more questions and if all of our spellers are ready to go, we will get started. So this is going to be round one. Judges, we are on page 12. And if y'all are ready, just let me know. Okay, perfect. Okay, speller number one, come on up. Your word is fell. Fell, F-E-L-L, -L, fell. Okay, next speller. Your word is note. N O T E, note. Your word is into. Into. I N T O, into. Your word is made. 
M-A-D-E, made. Your word is hunt. Hunt, H-U-N-T, hunt. Shed. Shed, S-H-E-D. And judges, we're on page 13, sorry about that. Your word is deep. Deep, D-E-E-P, deep. Your word is gate. Gate, G-A-T-E. Your word is here. Here, H-E-R-E. -E. Your word is ring. Can you say it again? Ring. Ring, R-I-N-G, ring. Your word is coin. Coin. C-O-I-N. Your word is show. Show. S-H-O-W. All right. Way to go, guys. Way to good round one. Let's go to page 19. All right, first speller. Your word is unkind. Unkind, U-N-K-I-N-D. Unkind. Your word is nearly. Nearly. N E A R L Y. Nearly. Your word is bitter. Bitter. B I T T E R. Your word is missing. M-I-S-S-I-N-G, missing. Next page, 20. Your word is paste. Paste, P-A-C-E-D, paste. I think she misunderstood. So I'll rely on you judges. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm sorry, but the word was paste, P-A-S-T-E. Wait. She heard it wrong. Yes, asking for a sentence is very helpful because a lot of words sound exactly the same. Okay, are you ready for a new word? Okay, let's do this. Obey. Obey. O-B-E-Y. Obey.
Your word is slumber. Slumber. S L U M B E R. Slumber. Your word is flying. Flying. F L Y I N G. Your word is pretend. Pretend. P R E T E N D. Judges, let's go over to page 21. Your word is clasp. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Let's see where the sentence. Sharon struggled impatiently with the ornate clasp on her bracelet. Clasp. C L A S P. Boxcar. <laughs> Can you define it? Boxcar. A section of a train with a roof, four walls, and sliding doors that is used to transport goods. Boxcar. B O X C A R. Your word is vanish. Vanish. V A N I S H. Page 22, judges. Your word is rafters. Can you use that in a sentence? A robin built a nest among the rafters of Bonnie's barn. Rafters. R A F T E R S. Good job, everybody. Okay, this is going to round three. Good job. Judges, we are going to be on page 24. And if y'all are ready, we will have the first speller. Y'all are good. We still got a full house up there. Okay, your word is thrilling. Thrilling. T H R I L L I N G. Thrilling. Your word is rambling. Rambling. R A M B L I N G. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Your word is compost. Uh, can you use it a sentence? Johnny puts a layer of compost on her vegetable garden every year when she replants. Compost. C-O-M-P-O-S-T. Your word is promise. Can you use it in a sentence? Lacey and her best friend made a promise to never go a day without talking to each other. Promise. P-R-O-M-I-S-E. Promise. Judges, page 25. Your word is cosmic. Could you use it in a sentence? In his spare time, Stephen likes to read science fiction tales of cosmic exploration. Cosmic. C-O-S-M-I-C. -S cosmic. Your word is pirate. Pirate. P-I-R-A-T-E. Pirate. Your word is cheddar. Cheddar. C-H-E-D-D-A-R. Your word is hairpin. Hairpin. H-A-I-R-P-I-N. -I 
Your word is manner. Manner. M A N N E R. Judges, page 26. Your word is clipper. Clipper. C L I P P E R. Your word is shabby. Shabby. S H A B B Y. Your word is primers. Um, did you use that in a sentence? Mr. Dodd set out primers on various topics and let the students pick which one they wanted to study. Can you use a definition? This is usually small introductory books on a specific subject, primers. Primer or primers? Primers, plural. P-R-I-M-O-R-S. Great job, everybody. We are y'all are good. We are already on round four, and we still have a full house up here. Okay, judges, we are going to go over to page thirty-one. Is everybody doing okay up there? Feeling good? Okay, if the judges are ready, we will have our first speller for round four. Your word is amusing. Amusing. A-M-U-S-I-N-G. Amusing. Your word is chapel. Can you please use that in a sentence? The Baron and Baroness were married in the castle chapel. C-H-A-P-E-L. Your word is protested. Can you use that in a sentence? Matthew loudly protested seeing broccoli on his plate for the third night in a row. Protested, P-R-O-T-E-S-T-E-D. Your word is superb. Can you repeat that? Superb. Can you use it in the sentence? Mm Mm-hmm. The curator explained that the museum's new painting was a superb example of art. Can you use that as a definition? The definition is superb is of the highest quality. S O P E R B. I'm sorry, the correct spelling was S U P E R B. Good work. Your word is engraved. Can you use it in a sentence? The jeweler engraved Eliza's initials on her bracelet. Engraved. E-N-G-R-A-V-E-D. Judges, page 32. 
Your word is severely. Severely. S E V E R E L Y. Your word is intersect. Intersect. I N T E R S E C T. Your word is manure. Manure. M A N E A R. Good job, thank you. Your word is slobbery. Can you use that in a sentence? Laura was pretty sure she would like dogs a whole lot more if they weren't so slobbery. Slobbery. S L O B B E R Y. Page 33, Judges. Your word is breakfast. Breakfast. B-R-E-A-K-F-A-S-T. Your word is spinster. Spinster, S P I N S T E R. Okay. We are on round five. Everybody's doing amazing. Judges, we're going to stay on page 33. So if we want to have our next speller. Your word is diagram. Diagram. D I A G R A M M Good job. Your word is grocery. Can you please use that in a sentence? Jasper first shop prefers shopping on a small in a small neighborhood grocery store because it offers fresh fruits and vegetables. G R O C E R Y. Your word is receptions. Receptions. R E C E P T I O N S. Your word is valuables valuables v a l u a b l e s judges page 34 
Your word is energetic. Energetic. E N E R G E T I C. Your word is disguise. Disguise. D I S G U I S E. Your word is enlisted. Do you use it in a sentence? Joshua kept his enlisted status in the army for many years before earning commission. Enlisted. E N L I S T E D. Your word is bookmobile. Can you use that in a sentence? The public library sent a bookmobile to the children's hospital every week so patients could have books. Bookmobile. B O O K M O B I L E. Judges, page 35. Okay, your word is shortage. Shortage. S H O R T A G E. All right. We're moving on to round six. All right. All right, you're ready for the next speller. Your word is balloonist. May you please say the definition. The definition is someone who operates a bag that is filled with heated air or a gas lighter than air so it rises and floats in the atmosphere and that usually carries a suspended load such as a gondola with passengers. Balloonist. 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 B-U-L-U-N-I-S-T. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Your word is handiwork. Handiwork. H A N D Y W O R K. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is H A N D I W O R K. Good job, very close. Good work. All right, your word is altitude. Altitude, A L T I T U D E. Judges, we're going to go over to page 36. Okay, your word is disengage. Can you use it in a sentence? Janelle happens to disengage the screaming toddler from her leg by offering her a lollipop. Disengage. D I S E N G. A G E. Your word is infraction. Can you use it in a sentence? For Jeremy's infraction of his family's official code of conduct, he was assigned the task of extra yard work. Infraction. I N F R. A C T 
I O N. Judges, we're going to go over to page 37. Your word is opponent. Opponent. O P P O N E N T. Your word is administration. Can you use it in a sentence? Jesse works in administration at a local hospital. Administration. A D M I N I S T R A T I O N. Your word is affirmation. Affirmation. A F F I R M A T I O N. Your word is correctional. Correctional. C O R R E C T I O N A O. All right, good job, everybody. Oh my goodness, does this mean we are on around seven? All right, judges, go to page 38, please. Okay, all right, next speller. Your word is vegetation. Vegetation, um, can you use the definition? Plant life or total plant cover as of an area, forest or prairie. Vegetation, V-E-G-E-T-A-T-I-O-N. Your word is defensiveness. Could you use it in a sentence? Brady, def Brady detected def defensiveness in Jill's tone of voice and wondered what was upsetting her. Defensiveness. D-E-F-E-N-S-I-V-E-N-E-S-S. Your word is segregation. Segregation. S E G R A T I O N. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is S E G R E G A T I O N. Segregation. What did I say? Good job. Your word is callous. Callous. C A L L O U S. Judges, let's go over to page 39. Good. Okay. Your word is grandiose. Can you use it in a sentence? Cleo didn't want to listen to all of Nicolette's grandiose ideas for the party. Can you give me the definition? Let's see. Characterized by magnificence, by pretense, and pomp or arrogance, or by absurd exaggeration. Grandiose. Grandiose. G R A N D I O S E. Your word is dexterity. 
can use that in this sentence? Larry's dexterity made him a natural at performing magic tricks. Dexterity, D-E-X-T-E-R-I-T-Y. Your word is barrette. Put that in the sentence. Kenny Kennedy could never find a barrette when she needed one for her hair. Definition. The definition of barrette, a clip used to hold hair in place. Barrette. B A R R E T. Great job. Awesome job, everybody. It's getting tense. I'm feeling a little nervous. We are on round eight. We are judges, we are still on page 39. What? Are we ready? Next speller? Your word is marmalade. Definition, please. Mom's homemade marmalade on toast is always a treat for breakfast. M-A-R-M-E-L-A-D-E, -E, marmalade. Good job. Your word is exasperation. Can you use it in a sentence? The exasperation was clear on the mother's face as she watched her children playing in the mud puddle. Exasperation. E X A S P E R A T I O N. Your word is annoyance. Annoyance. A-N-N-O-Y-A-N-C-E. Your word is chimpanzee. Can you use it in a sentence? The chimpanzee shows intensiveness in making and using tools. Chimpanzee, C-H-I-M-P-A-N-Z-E-E. -E. Judges, page 41. Your word is paralysis. Paralysis, P-A-R-A-L-Y-S-I-S. All right, this is round nine. Okay, your word is commendable. Can you use it in a sentence? Jim received several scholarships as a result of his commendable academic performance. Commendable, C-O-M-M-E-N-D-A. B L E. Your word is boisterously. Can you use that in a sentence? The students reacted boisterously when their teacher announced that recess would be inside that day. Could you repeat the word? Boisterously. Boisterously. B O Y. S T R E B O Y S T R E L E S S L Y. I'm sorry, the correct spelling.
Good job. Thank you. Your word is tribulations. Can you use it in a sentence? Victor hoped he would never have to experience the tribulations that come from living in a war zone. Tribulations. T-R-I-B-U-L-A-T-I-O-N-S. Your word is incessant. Can you use that in a sentence? Let me find the sentence. Excuse me. Incessant changes in other parts of the restless country seem to bypass the inhabitants of Sleepy Hollow. Incessant. I N C E S S A N T. Hold on one second. We are going to move on to round 10. Yes, we're down to the three, so please do. Um, so, uh, with a big account of six sellers, the head judge would select Donald Trump again. We'll select Donald Trump to be here to help the seller stay on track for the final round. The final round is a round of one seller. If he or she missells, sellers who missell the previous round will return and a new round begin. This process continues until a single seller round produces a directly sell. We're around 10. So y'all three stick around on stage until we're done. Okay, you ready? Your word is fluorescent. Can you use it in a sentence? Johnny did a lot of research before deciding to buy LED light bulbs instead of fluorescent ones. F L fluorescent F L O U R E S C E N T. I'm sorry, the next one is F L U O R E S C E N T. Good job, very close. So now we are down. Yes. All right. Your word is ricochet. Can you use it in a sentence? Albert and Tyler carefully counted each ricochet in the stone skipping contest. Ricochet. R I C O C H E T. Your word is entrepreneurs. Plural? Yes. Entrepreneurs. E N T R E P R E. N E U R S. Judges over to page forty three. Okay. Judges, are you all ready? And we're good? Okay. Uh, forty three. Your word is anecdote. Can you use it in 
sentence. The speaker's presentation ended with a touching anecdote. Can you give me the definition? An anecdote is a short story about an interesting situation. Anecdote, A-N-E-C-D-O-T-E. Your word is malign. Can you use it in a sentence? Gossip can praise as well as malign others. Can you give me a definition? The definition of malign is to utter injuriously misleading or deliberately and damagingly false reports about. Malign. M A L I N E. No, sorry, the correct spelling is M A L I G N. Malign. Good work. But don't go anywhere. We ready? Um, page 44. Okay, you ready? Your word is burrows. Can you use it in the sentence? The ancient boroughs in England and Wales were established by charters granted by the monarchy. Boroughs. Can you give me the definition? Medieval groups of housing forming towns. Boroughs. Boroughs or boroughs? Boroughs. B O. B. O R R O W S. Okay, y'all ready? We are still on page 44. R your word is propaganda. Can you use it in a sentence? In 1941, President Roosevelt warned that the democratic way of life was being assailed by several spreading of poisonous propaganda. Propaganda or propaganda? Propaganda. P. Oh, propaganda. P. R. O. P. A. G. A. N. D. A. Your word is conundrum. Conundrum. C. O. N. U. N. D R U M. Judges, are you ready? We're still on page 44. Your word is piteously. Can you use it in a sentence? The kitten mewed piteously, causing its owner to give it a dish of milk. P. 
piteously? Mm hmm Okay. Piteously. P I D E O U S L Y? So I go that way. <laughs> Have a seat. Okay. Your word is facilitate. Facilitate. F A C I L I T A T E. That was. Okay. Your word is premonition. Premonition. P R I M I N I T I O N. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is P R E E M O N I T I O N. Premonition. Okay, now we get another round, man. Woo, good job, everybody. I'm sweating. Y'all are doing amazing. Okay, you ready? Your word is massacres. Can you use it in a sentence? Under Attila the Hun of the 5th century, he was responsible for many massacres. Massacres. M A S S A C R E S. Your word is subterranean. Subterranean. S U B T E R R E N E A N. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is S-U-B-T-E-R-R-A-N-E-A-N. Okay. okay, judges, go to page 46, please. Okay, your word is endeavor. Endeavor. Mm -hmm. Endeavor. E N D E A V O R. So he spells one more. Yes, okay, sorry, I got confused. So, wonderful. Amazing job, we have a winner. So thank you everyone. I'm gonna turn this over to Jolene. Amazing job. Everyone, thank you so much for coming to the 20th annual Read to Be Sixth Grade Spelling Bee. We had some amazing spellers tonight. Give a round of applause to all the spellers. Congratulations to our three winners. We will celebrate with them and do trophies and checks in a moment. But I do want to thank City TV, uh, the City of Murfreesboro. Um, we have Patterson Park and Washington Theater, our wonderful judges and pronouncer. Thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful evening and happy reading. <laughs>